Sicily, 2020. I was sitting in my house. Well, then what, Sophia? That's it. We sat in our house. It was a pandemic. Oh, I can just imagine all those swathy Italian men just cooped up like caged animals with no way to release their most inner carnal desires. Mm. Easy, Blanche. It was a pandemic, not a double feature at Vavoom Video. It brings me back to this Italian soccer player I dated once. Muscles so tight you could bounce a quarter off his posterior. Big deal. I can whistle show tunes with mine. Ma! And I had cabbage for lunch, so I'm currently taking requests. <laughs> okay, but where do I put the quarter? Don't answer that, Ma. <laughs> Picture it. Sicily. 2020, I was sitting in my house. Then what, Sophia? That's it. We sat in our house. It was a pandemic. But, uh, Sophia, how did the virus get so out of hand? Well, our village doctor was older than dirt, and he fell behind on the latest medical tests. Hmm. <laughs> so I guess you could say it was because of your epidemiologist's expired diagnosis? <laughs> <laughs> Why, even quite the sound of that is something quite atrocious. When I say it loud enough, I know it seems precocious. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Oh. Picture it. Sicily. 2020. I was sitting in my house. Then what, Sophia? That's it. We sat in our house. It was a pandemic. <laughs> well, I heard it spread by person-to-person -person contact. Well, that'd be good news for you, Dorothy. <laughs> <gasps> Not while sharing a house with you, Blanche. I mean, let's face it. If the CDC had to map out everyone you would had contact with, they'd have to dig up Rand and McNally. The World Health Organization would issue an official Code Devereaux. Doctors Without Borders would build a wall around you. Oh, hush, Dorothy. I should not have to endure such repeated assaults on my reputation right here in my own kitchen. She's right, pussycat. Let's move to her bedroom where she's more used to it. <laughs> Picture it. Sicily, 2020. I was sitting in my house. Then what, Sophia? That's it. They sat in their house. It was a pandemic. You, you couldn't see anyone? Nope. Even married couples had to keep six feet of space between them. Well, then how on earth did, did they make, you know, their beds? No, Rose. Friends. No. Rose. Um, oh. Breakfast. Oh, gee. Whoopee, Rose. Whoopee, whoopee, whoopee. I didn't think breakfast was that exciting, Dorothy, but yahoo, yahoo, yahoo. <laughs> Picture it. Sicily, 2020. I was sitting in my house. Then what, Sophia? That's it. We sat in our house. It was a pandemic. Well, how did it end? Well, first the restaurants and stores reopened, but they only served a few people at a time. Because they were out of practice? No, because they could only operate at 50% capacity. 
I don't understand. Because you only operate at 40% capacity, Rose. But eventually, everything got better. Right, Sophia? Yes. For a while. But then it got really horrible again. Terrifying. Beyond anything I'd ever imagined. A second spike of cases? No. I wound up spending my golden years sharing a house with a divorcee, a slut, and a dimwit. <laughs> Thank you.